hi friends in this video uh, i'll be introducing you to something called blind sql injection and uh, what does this term blind means is uh, sometimes uh, instead of getting uh, errors sql injection errors just like we did see in the previous video of sql injection uh, if we put in something like uh, quotes or colon we used to get error from the server but if we try this if we try it uh, this time we'll get nothing so instead of uh, giving us the error messages uh, it's not showing us anything it's just showing us a generic web page uh, defined by the developer so this makes it uh, hard for detecting actually if there exists the uh, sql injection vulnerability or not so in order to find whether the SQL injection vulnerabilities is still there or not, we you, we need to use something called uh, time-based queries. So, what we does is uh, instead of uh, trying normal SQL queries like uh, single quote or one equal to one or double quote or something like this. Uh, they are not gonna uh, tell us whether the whether the application is uh, vulnerable to SQL injection or not so instead we need to use some some time based queries like uh, and or sleep five second and what it will do is it will make the database sleep for five second so if we try this query and the uh, we get the delay in the server that means uh, there the query is succeeded so if we see it's just uh, revolving that means uh, the query is seems to be succeeded so in order to detect blind SQL injection uh, vulnerabilities we use uh, something like this and uh, if uh, uh, we just try to observe the behavior of the application and uh, depending on whether how the application is behaving uh, we figure out if there is uh, the vulnerability exist or not so in the previous case uh, it got delayed for a long time because I made it a sleep of 5 seconds so let's just try to make it a sleep of 1 second and see if it sleeps for 1 second and uh, it seems to be delaying the response for 1 second that means uh, this seems to be vulnerable to SQL injection so that's the only difference between uh, SQL injection blind SQL injection and traditional SQL injection in blind SQL injection, we don't get error messages. Instead, we get the generic uh, page defined by the developer. And in uh, traditional SQL injection, uh, we get the error messages from the backend database, like uh, if there's a syntax error or unknown uh, column or something like this. So, if we try to run in the traditional query, uh, will get the results so exploiting it is uh, a bit uh, difficult because of uh, uh, not getting the error messages but uh, it's somehow same except for how we are gonna detect it once we detect the SQL injection uh, successfully then exploiting is similar to what uh, we did previously so I'm not gonna go for the exploit phase uh, I just want you to be aware of this thing and uh, I like uh, I think you probably like this so thanks for watching this video please uh, comment and subscribe to my channel at viral cause and uh, I'll see you in the next video